There used to be a long history in this nation of punk ass men getting their asses wet when they talk a little bit too much about another real man. And I just kind of had this situation happen to me. I'm at home minding my own business. And I get a notification that some little punk by the name of Roland Martin looked like a furry. He got a weird looking little guy. I, I knew of him. I never paid much attention to him. But he, he made a, a, a statement about me on, a, on, 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 on Twitter, and I'm going to read it to you. He said, uh, he had, uh, Roland had uh, gotten, gotten hold to my, um, um, my trailer of my documentary, Will You Go to Hell for Me? And uh, I guess he saw the trailer and he felt some type of way about it. And uh, he wrote, he said, if you are a black pastor quoting white supremacist Tucker Carlson, you are an enemy to black people. That's you, at Vince E. Ellison. So this dude said I'm an enemy to black people? I'm saying, what is this about? Where does this come from? There's a backstory. Let me explain it to you. There's a great gentleman by the name of Patrick Bet David. Patrick has a... Uh, YouTube channel called Valuetainment. Valuetainment is huge. I mean, it has about 6 million subscribers. It's, it's, it's huge. And Patrick and I talked, and he asked me to come on his show. I told him I'd love to, be an honor. And he said, Vince, do you debate? I said, yeah, I'll debate anyone. He said, what about Van Jones, Charlemagne the God? How about Roland Martin? I said, I'll take them all three at the same time, make it a fair fight. And he kind of smiled and said, well, what about Roland? And I said, and this is figuratively, because I know I'm on YouTube and y'all take everything literally. Figuratively. I said, I'll cut Roland's throat and watch him bleed out on your floor and smile while he's doing it. He said, I'm going to reach out to Roland. I said, keep me posted. Well, a week goes by. I haven't heard anything. So Pat said, I reached out to Roland. Roland hadn't said anything back. I said, that's cool. Keep me posted. And then I get the tweet from X that comes in with him making a little side statement here. So uh, I sent it to my good friend, April Chapman. And, and April from the Bronx, so April had street, street smart. She said, oh, no, that's Roland being a punk. That's Roland being the estrogen field man that he is. He's no good. He's a liar. And she said, I'm going to call him out. So if y'all haven't watched April Chapman's podcast, Stand of the Truth podcast, you need to watch it. It is must-see TV. I mean, she's the best thing on the internet right now. But she let in the Roland and called him out and called him everything but the child of God. But that's Roland. See, instead of facing me in front of 7 million people on valuetainment and taking his whooping like a man, he decides to show the type of punk that he is and hide behind the bush and throw the rock and hide the hand. Well, just like they did in the old rest, Roland, if the sheriff call you out, if a man call you out and you don't show up, you got to leave town. You got to admit you're a punk and you're a coward and not show up. Well, I'm calling you out. Patrick Bet David said he'll fly us down and put us up in a five-star hotel and let us debate it out on his show in front of seven million people. Anytime you want to do it, I've said I'll come. I'll do it. I'll show up, and I'm going to beat your ass like I'm your daddy. And if you don't show up, don't show your face anymore. Everybody that see him, call him Rolando for the rest of his life. Tell him he got on panties and a bra. Your man who has been taken away. Because if you show up at Valuetainment on the Patrick Bat David show, Figuratively, figuratively, I'm going to slit your throat and watch you bleed out, boy. I'm going to beat your head down to the white meat. Figuratively, of course, because I don't believe in violence. So if you see this, Rolanda, after you get through cleaning yourself, 
Call Patrick back. Give Patrick a call because I know he's reached out to you. Be respectful and call the man back. At least tell him you too much of a bitch to show up. And then have enough virtue to not show your face on television ever again. Punk.